We are in a state of emergency. Prejudice. Wrote a song about it? Like to hear it? Here it go. Free your mind. some moves and it all fell apart because one man was deported one man was deported and all of them went to hell Joe Biden is the president of the United States he could be impeached tomorrow is the country gonna go to hell because Joe Biden or even if the speaker of the house or the or the uh, a vice president, if all three of them were sat down, do you think this nation going to fall apart? Because three people got sat down? No. You replace and keep moving. One man died in the nation of Islam and the whole thing went to hell. One man died in the Moore Science Temple and all these black organizations and they all went to hell. But we leaders follow me. Follow you where? To the graveyard. Where your leader at? Because you can't do nothing without this person. Something's wrong with you. One person died. We all going to die. So you mean to tell me our country, our nation is going to fall apart? Because one person died? This goes to show you don't know what the hell you're doing. Two words that we you never hear us use. We don't use the word revenge. And I said this before, using the martial arts story. Little boy, his father get killed on the battlefield. And his father said, revenge, revenge my life, son. <laughs> yes, father, a child. So as the child grows up, seven years old, nine years old, 11, 14, the only thing on this child's mind, I'm going to revenge my daddy's death. Even if I die. You don't hear us talk like that. Did you ever hear. Any of. Dr. King's son. Say. I'm going to revenge my father's death. Even if I die. Did you hear. Dr. King's son say that. Did you hear any of. Malcolm X's daughters, I'm going to avenge my father's death. Now, you had one daughter, she got caught up. She got set up. But you don't hear, you don't hear, no, you don't hear us talking about, do you hear anybody in Trayvon Martin's family saying, I'm going to revenge, I'm going to take revenge for what they did to Trayvon. I'm going to take revenge what they did to George Floyd, Sean Bell. I'm going to take, we don't use that word. This is what we do. Well, they went to court. Justice been served. And I, that's that. And I, that's the way it is. We don't talk about revenge. We don't talk about, we talk about the horror of the slave trade. A hundred million died in the slave trade, the Africans, and, and they killed so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. You never hear us talk about, let's take revenge. No. 
never. We, we don't use that word. You never hear our leadership say, if I can't get the job done, or if I betray you, I will kill myself. Now, Louis Farrakhan came real close. Louis Farrakhan pulled the bluff. If I betray you, y'all can kill me. That's because he knows they're not going to do a damn thing to him. Everything he does is right. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't tell the ordinary people to do that because it'd be a whole lot if they could get away with it. Yeah, you, you deserve to die, sir. In Asia, in Asia, they have this thing about honor. And they would take a sword and plunge that sword into their chest because they've done something dishonorable. I stole the money from my people. I don't know what the hell I was thinking about. I don't deserve to live. You don't have to worry about the people killing you because there's a code of honor. Uh, I do it myself. See, there's no code of honor for black leaders in here. There's no consequences. So Omar Johnson can take your money and go buy strippers and Tariq Nasheed can take vacations in the Bahamas on your dime. Nothing happens. These people have no honor. They have no integrity. They have no character. And you're following them and giving them your money. Because they're selling you a dream. Because you can't face the reality in order to change this condition. Either you, and it doesn't make no difference if you do it physically or via like something like the Mississippi campaign. It's still going to take sacrifice. It's gonna, still going to take suffering. And you ain't ready for it. And that's why you don't have it. And that's why you're not, never going to get it. Hey, that's their song. <laughs> you're never going to get it. Because you don't deserve it. You are getting exactly what you deserve. You're getting exactly what you put in the pot. You put nothing in the pot, and you're not going to get nothing out of the pot. It's simple as that. I want to say this. I want to talk about this brother real quick. I'm very happy that this young man is improving. He's talking. He's able to communicate. And I think it was less than a, a week or a little over a week ago, this young man, uh, how you pronounce his name, Damar Hamlin, <clears throat> He basically suffered something like a heart attack on the field. How old is he? 23, 24 years old, young man. He's forever and all. My black people, it's all about the unity. It's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving.